Okay, I think it's finally cold enough outside for us to be able to do our fun little art project that Mrs. Fox has been talking about. That dishwasher is very loud, sorry. Um, okay, I'm gonna show you what you need and then I'll be showing you what it's gonna look like when we're finished and I will do a video showing how we do it. So to start, we need some balloons, however many you'd like. Um, some of this stuff here, food coloring. If mommy and daddy have any of this in the house, whatever colors you'd like. Um, when you do make it though, you're obviously, you need to have mom and dad help you because this stuff, if you spill it, it will stain, stain, stain. So I've also got some other colors here, pink and a funky greeny yellow. Okay, so we have balloons, we have food coloring, and then you're going to need a big bowl. Um, you might also be able to use like a plastic bag. So um, I'm gonna make a video and show you what we're making and how we're gonna do it, okay? Okay, so the next thing you need to do is bring everything that we need, our bowl, our balloons and our food coloring over to the sink. So I'm standing at my sink right now. Here's my tap. Okay, we're gonna take a balloon. And for this one, it doesn't matter what color your balloons are. For this one, I'm going to choose blue food coloring. So I'm gonna put the blue food coloring in my balloon. Oh, can you see that? And I'm squirting some coloring in. I don't know how much we're supposed to put. Um, I don't know. I think I just put about five drops in there. Okay. Now I'm going to go like this and smush it around inside my balloon. Okay. Make sure it's all smushed around and oh, the tap just came on. All right. So now what I want to do, and we're going to need mom and dad's help, we are going to fill our balloons with water. So I'm going to take my balloon and wrap it around the edge of my tap and slowly turn the water on. Okay. Maybe you guys can help mom and dad by putting your hand underneath to hold it so that it doesn't fall off or break. Okay. And you can see this balloon's a good one because it's light yellow. We can see inside what's happening. So it's making the water turn blue inside, okay? So I'm just gonna keep filling this up, filling this up, filling this up. Just depends how big you want these to turn out. I think I will just make some about, uh, I don't know, that size looks pretty good, okay? So now that you've got the water, you need to carefully take it off of the, whoa! Take it off of the tap and I'm going to tie a knot in the top of my balloon to tie it up. Just like in the summer when you make uh, water balloons. We have fun at school when we make water balloons and throw them at each other. Okay, so there's my balloon full of my blue water and I'm going to make a few more of these. You can make as many as you'd like. So our bowl is so that once we've made them, we can set them in here nice and gentle to hold on to because we're gonna be bringing these outside. Okay, I'll show you that next step. Okay, so I just finished filling all of mine. I'll show you, I've got them in my bowl. I chose to do five. I chose five different colors. So I did one that was red, one that was yellow, one that was green, one that was kind of this purpley color and one that was blue. The one thing I just thought of though that would be neat is what if you took these two colors and put them in the same balloon? What color do you think yours would turn out to be? Or if you took, what else have we learned at school? What if you were to take um, these two colors, what would you get? or these two colors, what color would you get? I chose just to put one color in my balloons. And as you can see, my balloons aren't huge. So they, 
are about the size of a maybe a bowling ball. If you have bigger balloons at home, then this project you're going to turn out. It's going to turn out with bigger things once they're done. I'm going to take you outside because these need to go outside now and I'll show you what to do out there. Okay, so I brought my bowl of balloons outside. Now I chose to come out to the front yard because we still got quite a bit of snow in this garden. Plus I didn't want Gordy getting my balloons. So what you're going to do, oh, I'm gonna take my mitt off. You're just going to take your balloons and you're gonna pop them in the snow, okay? And we will wait for these to freeze. Now, it's really cold today, and I think we're supposed to get some more snow tonight. When I looked at the weather channel though, it looks like tomorrow might get a bit warm, not below freezing. So we may need to leave these out for a couple of days, okay? So right now, they're pretty soft and jiggly, okay? We're gonna come out and check um, tomorrow morning and then we might have to check again on Friday morning. If you decide to make um, this project at home, send Mrs. Fox some pictures, okay? And it will be fun because if a bunch of us make it, we all live in the same neighborhood, we can put them out front of our house for all of our neighbors and our community to see when they're all finished. Have fun guys.